Hey guys, Yusuf here to talk about the ending of Bright and what this could mean for the sequel. If you couldn't tell, this video will contain spoilers for Bright, so you have been warned. The best place to start this off is at the quote-unquote death of Nick Jacoby. We know that part of Jacoby's journey is not being accepted by both humanity because he's an orc and the orcs because he's a cop. On top of that, he is looked at differently because he's not a blooded orc, which means he's basically a nobody, a non-orc. After being brought back to life by Tika, he realizes they need to follow through on this prophecy that he was warned about at the beginning of the film, and even tells the story of one of the legendary orcs that was once not blooded, but led the orcs in battle against the Dark Lord. We'll come back to this in a moment. So, then the typical third act battle ensues, and as Layla is about to kill Ward, Jacoby shoots the wand out of her hand and Ward decides to put an end to everything by touching the wand and causing a huge power surge that would kill everyone around. Instead, upon his touch, Ward is not obliterated. He holds the wand in awe, revealing to us that he too is a bright. He eventually kills Layla and Tika escapes. That's, that's pretty much all the important things that happen at the end. But as I mentioned, let's go back to that prophecy point. What's interesting is that they never actually fully fulfilled any prophecy whatsoever. The Dark Lord was not even close to being summoned, and this is not the end of their journey. This is why a sequel was greenlit so fast in my opinion. Because while the reviews aren't good, they pulled off a pretty good looking film with good visual effects, and a concept that can definitely be great if fine tuned a bit in the script department. The sequel will no doubt have to have some type of war. Maybe not a war, but a huge battle. Ward and Nick cannot defeat the Dark Lord on their own, especially based off of the story that Nick tells in the car about how he led an army of orcs to defeat the Dark Lord. So if two people just end up defeating this dude, I'm going to be a little disappointed. On top of that, I would like to see the cast expand, and we could possibly get some more allies that can aid them in the battle. Because I liked the FBI agents in Bright, but I thought that the side characters could have used a little more development but I wouldn't say that they were bad. So maybe if they even get a little more action in the sequel, I think that would be pretty cool because I think they're pretty cool and interesting characters. Guys, what's important is hearing your thoughts. So go ahead, hop in the comments. Tell me, you know, you guys really didn't need the ending explained. You guys are smart, but tell me what do you think about the potential that this holds for the future? I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. Also, if you have not already, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button along with the bell so you guys can get notified when Hybrid Network posts new daily content. Check out our Facebook and Twitter. Also, check out our website for the latest news articles and editorials. Also, please donate to our Patreon if you'd like to see us get better with our content. Every little bit helps and we appreciate it all.